Hey YouTube, it's Justin, AK Demonic Sweaters, here with another product review. Today we're going to be taking a look at this, I guess this is pronounced May Deal, My Deal, something like that, M-E-I-D-E-A-L, drum training pad. And uh, basically what this is, is an electronic practice pad uh, for drums. So let's go ahead and open it up and take a look at what's in the box. Uh, first off, we have a pair of headphones right here, earbuds. Uh, it comes with a USB cable. And then here's the practice pad itself. And actually I opened this already. I just put it back in so I could do the little unboxing. But uh, here it is. Put that box back there. All right, let's go ahead and see what the size of the actual pad, like the drum surface is. So you're looking at about almost, but not quite seven inches across, uh, side to side and then top to bottom, more like about five. So it's a decent size. It's not huge, but it's definitely big enough to be a practice pad. And uh, it has a few different electronic functions in it, but let's go ahead and switch the camera around so I can demonstrate them to you and we'll see how it does. All right, so here's the pad itself. Uh, let's go ahead and flip it over here. And to power it, you can either use AAA batteries, which you can see I already installed there in the back, or you can use the supplied USB cable that it came with. Uh, this USB cable doesn't send any kind of da data or anything like that to a computer. It's really just to power the device. So you can power it with USB or with batteries. I'm using batteries in this demonstration. Uh, let's go ahead and turn it on. Okay, and the pad itself has three different modes. Really only one of those modes, in my opinion, is very useful. And I'm gonna tell you why here in a second. Now, the reason why I bought this thing was because I was hoping it had some kind of coaching function, uh, basically to help my students, uh, you know, be able to tell if they're going, you know, out of sync with the click or the metronome, but it really doesn't have anything like that. It has three modes, like I said, two of which are pretty pointless and one of them actually has a purpose. So let's go through those modes first. The first one being the count mode. This is about the most pointless mode on this thing. Uh, basically what it does is you start playing and it counts how many times you can hit the pad in 15 seconds. So let's go ahead and show you how this works. I mean, I could go much faster than that if I wanted to, but well, let's go faster. And it just counts down. Let's see, I got 115. But again, useless. That really has no uh, importance in improving your drumming uh, whatsoever. It's, you know, some people might disagree with that. They're like, well, I can see how fast you can play, but eh, I just really don't think that's very useful. It doesn't help with rhythm. It doesn't help uh, really anything at all, any kind of rudiments or, you know, any kind of uh, timing. It's just counting how many times you hit the pad. Again, just kind of like a gimmick. It's kind of silly. Anyway, let's go to the second mode. Now this mode, uh, maybe a little bit, more of a purpose than the last mode. Uh, this is just a tap tempo mode. So if we just start tapping the pad, well, let's try that again, it switched. Now this could be used, well, let me finish doing it and then I'll tell you. Okay, so as you can see, I just tapped out the tempo 120 and then it switched over to the next mode by itself. Uh, now that mode, you actually could kind of use that to uh, gauge your consistency. Uh, like, and what I mean by that, if we put this back into that mode, into the tap mode, if you are playing and if you can keep it close to one number or exactly on one number, then you know you're playing perfectly on time. But again, that's kind of a weird way to go about it. Let's see if I can keep it right at 130, 130-ish. So again, it's kind of like not really that useful. Uh, but anyway, let's go to the last mode, which is the one that actually is kind of useful, which is just the normal metronome mode. And so if we have that set to metronome, we can just hold or press the power button and now it'll start clicking.
So there, you know, let's go ahead and stop it. Um, it's basically just a standard metronome and it has a few different settings you can do for the metronome. We can switch the note type. So there's eighth notes, triplets, 16th notes, some dotted notes, and back to quarter notes. So essentially what this is is just a practice pad with a metronome built in. Uh, that is the only useful feature out of the three that I think that is in there. You can change your tempo right here, or you could tap the tempo out, so maybe that's a little bit useful. Uh, if you're unsure of the tempo of a song or something like that, you could put it on and tap it out. Uh, other than that, oh, you can change the time signature here, so you can do your beats, which that's actually pretty good. So let's go to 5-4. There's six, except let's turn up the tempo a little bit. So there's seven, four, five, six, seven. Oops. Four, five, six, seven. So again, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much all. Uh, it's okay. Uh, I think it's an all right practice pad. It feels okay, you know, when you're playing. It's a little bit noisy, but not too bad. It's got a little little thing on the bottom where you could screw that into like, oops, you can't see that, into like a stand. I don't have any stands that are that size. It looks like about the same size as a camera tripod, actually. So that would probably fit on a regular camera tripod. Uh, it's got the speaker is fairly loud. I like the lights. You know, that's pretty useful. So as a metronome, it's decent. Um, as a teaching device, it's really no better than just having a regular practice pad and a metronome on your phone or something like that. Uh, but of course, you know, you just have them combined into one device. So maybe that is slightly more convenient. Uh, other than that, I'm really not that impressed with this thing. Um, it wasn't that expensive. I think it was about $30 or something. Uh, so if you're interested, I'll post a link down below, but I'd give it like 2.5 stars out of five, maybe, or two out of five. You know, it's okay for what it is. But like I said, I would really rather, if you're going to have an electronic practice pad, there should be some kind of coaching function in here. Otherwise, what's the point? You know, like you could just use a metronome and a practice pad and have a better practice pad uh, for that matter. So, I don't know, I guess it's okay. Probably still gonna give it to one of my students and maybe they'll get some use out of it, but it's a little bit disappointing to be honest. All right, that's gonna be all for this one today, everybody. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click the bell icon so you get notified every time I upload new content. Also follow Demonic Sweaters on Spotify or Apple Music or wherever you stream your music. Uh, you can also check out my record label, which is anthillrecordings.bandcamp.com. Uh, again, it's not the greatest thing in the world. It's not terrible, but, uh, just kind of meh. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you guys really soon. Have a great day. Later.